Hello everyone! Um, yes, so I'm finally putting up not just one vlog today, but two. Um, I finally have some time to upload the Brighton one from this past Friday and the one I will be posting today, which is this one. I will be just posting a vlog and a montage of things that happened throughout this week. Yeah. I'm still not used to vlogging, like talking in front of a camera right now is kind of awkward for me, but we're getting used to it. <laughs> so yeah, this week has been pretty chaotic. We had some highs and we had some lows. We haven't even been here for two whole weeks and I lost my beloved Oyster card. That pretty much guarantees us travel on the tube or on the buses from zone one, which is where we live in central London and the zone where our internship is. The girls who are doing primary are all in the same school, Broadfields, obviously. And we're all the way out in zone five. So, um, yeah, that was a pain. The Oyster card has transportation on there for the entire duration of the trip. So basically, um, that was included with our tuition, I guess. But um, since I lost it, I had to pay 25 pounds for a new one. And since I didn't, just get the card right away. I had to go to the tube station, buy another one, and put money on the card so that I can travel to my internship. And the person who was in charge at the educational services said, oh, you're gonna have to pay out of pocket to travel to your internship. So I was freaking out. I had class and I had an internship the following day. So I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? This is awful. So then she told me that it could take a few days to come in. Panic started to <laughs> set in. I'm like, oh my gosh. But thankfully, thankfully, it came on Wednesday. Yay. So I only had to wait one day to get my Oyster card again. And Jake, who you've already seen in the other vlog, came to the rescue and was able to pick up my card. So I'm very grateful for him. Shout out to Jake. <laughs> Thank you, lifesaver! And internship so far has been a little chaotic as well. I have more like observation so far and getting to know the school and the staff members and the students, obviously. Okay, so today is Thursday, our last day of internship for the week. We were able to buckle down and we advocated for ourselves. So now we have a better idea of how the rest of the term is going to play out. And it looks like we're going to be teaching mini lessons to the kiddos um, on Thursdays, do some observations, and then we're going to help the school out by um, pulling kids out for intervention. So it's looking like we're going to be with year one, which is kindergarten in the United States. And then we are going to be helping them with literacy, so reading, and I think possibly phonics, but we'll see how that goes. I pretty much just recorded some footage of what has been happening this week. Hey y'all, we're at Buckingham Palace. What, what? Is it a vlog? It's a vlog! <laughs> it's a vlog! <laughs> I feel like Jake is gonna say this every single time I record something. It's great. Just came back from the Queen's crib. <laughs> whoop, whoop. She wasn't even home. No. She threw a kegger. It's a banger. So I just found out that Rebecca loves to go antiquing. Yes, we're bonding. Oh my god. We're so excited right now mm -hmm. because this place is like the block where all the London crazy artsy mm -hmm. people are. Two parlors, vintage shops, fancy pastries that we don't know what they are. Yeah. It's amazing. It's great. And this is just like the epitome of antique shop. We can barely stand. Can I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're really getting nitty gritty. Take a lot of time vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> Some vintage cigarette cards. So neat. Ladies' formal dress. A man named John. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> no, 
way. Just, you just, you found a kitty. Hi, kitty. Uh huh. Tangerine tyrant. London knows what's up. Only America does. A cat cafe. Kennedy. The UK's first uh, cat cafe. What? It's too bad I'm allergic, but. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. I hate that I'm allergic to cats because they're so cute and I can't I can't play with them. So sad. Also, I like my new shades. <laughs> Thanks! I got them down the road. So let me just tell you, I am adoring London right now. It is just <laughs> Yeah, we are vlogging again. <laughs> it's a vlog. It's a vlog. <laughs> we I know Jake isn't here to say that, but it is fantastic. It's a walk. <laughs> um, it is fantastic here. I love the quirky little streets. Um, I don't know. Love the crosswalks. Love the crosswalks. Look at that. Oh my god! Look at, that little oh my god, look at this little dude. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's just a great place to be. And London loves Kennedy. Yes, it does. I hope it does. And we're starting to become pros at this whole transportation thing here. <laughs> the tube, the double decker buses, the routes. It's great. We're in one of the underground stations and it's so nice. It almost looks like Grand Central, almost. So nice. Look at that. Going on the tube, going on the tube, going on the tube, going on the tube. <laughs> watching a game of darts. It's intense. It's very intense. It's real intense. There's people with signs and they're chanting. <laughs> yeah. I bet you had to get tickets for, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Our father threw a dart in heaven. What? There's an announcer. It's a party atmosphere. He's narrating this sport. I've never seen what anything like this. Like this. Look at how fast it is. <laughs> I bet they paid to be there. Yeah. Oh my god. I may be late for work tomorrow. <laughs> These people are profesh. I kind of want to look up my cousin now. <laughs> Maybe he's a secret. Uh... If he, he said he was a professional dart player. <laughs> I always just assumed he was a criminal. <laughs> I just assumed that it was fake. <laughs> now you can confirm that there is a thing for yeah, professional darts. darts. Whoa, there is one. I'll have to look up Franz, Franz Beisner. <laughs> F-R-A-N-Z. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. You learn something new every day. Like darts is a real thing. Darts is a real thing on the UK television. Um, a pigeon just came onto the tube with us. Oh. Yeah, no. Wait, it's gonna stay in here. After internship, this is what happens. <laughs> so our head teacher took us out to the kids' field trip. To I don't know where we are actually. Uh, oh, Basil Basil's Wood Basil Wood Activity Center, and it's so cool. It kind of reminds me of Stores Adventure Park, or I don't know what the heck. But to the extreme, yeah. It's like, this it's like lake compounds pretty much. And it's beautiful. We're in the countryside. Oh. Get set! Go! Go! Ah! So we're here in England, sunny as you can see. About to see three Americans race down a bit of a timber luge with uh, little go-karts. Let's see how they go. Go! So we found a Starbucks.
Starbucks right by the Edgeware train station and of course I got a pumpkin spice latte! <laughs> you know it! Basic! Oh, okay, before I finish this vlog up, I wanted to see what you guys would like me to record while I do these vlogs and montages because I'm not really good at it. <laughs> Whenever we're traveling somewhere, I kind of forget to vlog, so I'll just kind of whip my phone out at random points and be like, okay, it's a vlog, here we are, this is that, this is this. So, yes, if you have any suggestions, please comment below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mwah. <laughs>